alternating uh, power potential difference shown above is connected across a resistor of 10 kilo ohm. Okay, so we have the resistor here. We have a resistor here, resistance, and then um, okay. Uh, find the root mean square current. Okay, so root mean square. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So find the root mean square current, the frequency, the mean power dissipated in resistor. Okay, so he asked for A, he asked for root mean square current. B, he asked for frequency. C, he asked for the mean power. Okay, actually mean power is also the same as power loss uh, in, in resistor. Okay, power loss in resistor. Okay, mean power is actually power loss in resistor. And uh, what information given in the graph? So we have uh, this 200 volt. This one is, should be the peak voltage, V0. Okay, and then another thing is the, okay, uh, the period. Okay, uh, this is the period. Period is, uh, uh, period is uh, one, 0 0.04 second. So make sure uh, the unit uh, correct. This is voltage, this is second, so 200 volt, and this is 0 0.04 second. Alright, okay, that's about it. And, uh, yeah. and it is a sine graph. Yeah? It is a sine graph, not a cosine graph, it's a sine graph. Okay, so the information given is a resistance, peak voltage, and the period. Okay, now how to find the root mean square current? Okay, A. So we have the peak voltage. Okay, so we can find the root mean square voltage first from the peak voltage. We use the formula of root mean square. Uh, root mean square voltage equal to peak voltage divided by set 2. Uh, so 200 divided by set 2 we will get uh, 141.421 volt okay and then uh, we can find the uh, we already have the root mean square voltage so we can v rms equal to i rms resistance uh, okay v equal to ir uh, so uh, uh, Okay, so just uh, substitute uh, 141.421 and I RMS and uh, resistance is uh, uh, okay. So remember, your because your uh, resistance is kilo, remember to change to SI unit exponent 3. So your resistance is uh, 10 exponent 3 uh, ohm, okay. Uh, then you get your root mean square current, which is equal to, which is equal to uh, zero point zero one four ampere. That's the answer. Okay? Yeah, very simple. So now next uh, we want to find frequency. Okay, we have the period uh, from the graph period. Uh, so. Uh, so frequency is 1 over period, that's it, okay? So uh, just divide 1 over 0 0.04 second and uh, frequency is uh, 25 hertz, okay? Uh, very simple also. So next uh, is our part C, the mean power, we want to find the mean power. Okay, mean power is also mean power is also known as average power. Okay, average power, or another name is uh, real power. Okay, uh, mean power, average power, real power, they all the same. Okay, they all the same. They are actually also the power loss in resistor. Okay, uh, so they are also. Power loss in resistor, but we call power loss or power dissipated in resistor because the power only lost in resistor. Okay, it won't lost in inductor or capacitor. Power only lost in resistor. Uh, so to find the mean power, average power, real power, uh, you just find the power dissipated in resistor. Okay, so. Um, equal to uh, uh, 
uh, I RMS square uh, power loss in resistor is I RMS square. Use RMS value, ah. Uh, use RMS value. Uh, so equal to uh, uh, 1.41. 1 .1. Just now the root mean square current, you get. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Just now the root mean square current you get is uh, 0 0.014. Okay. Uh, so 0 0.014 uh, square and then resistance is um, just now resistance is 10 kilo ohm so it is equal to 10 exponent 3 yeah okay so finally you get the answer uh, power loss is uh, 1.96 watt okay that's the power loss the average power or real power or mean power okay